Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Yesterday I said that I would talk a little bit today about our April Fool's Day videos and how they came to be, um, some behind the scenes stuff, and guaranteed some stuff that you do not know about. So I thought it would be fun to share. So let's talk about April Fool's 2015. We pulled pranks on both channels, Stephen Vlog and Stephen Plays, but over on Stephen Plays we did something that went a little above and beyond. We did puzzles in real time. If you haven't seen it, it's over in the specials playlist. Uh, on Steven Plays, Mal and I put together a 1,000 piece puzzle in real time. And it took many, many, many hours to do. But the fun thing is, it didn't actually start as that. It's changed so much over the course of about a year, um, and it's been something that we've been thinking about, but has changed, and I thought that I would share those changes, and why some of the crazy stuff happens in the video. So, about a year ago, maybe more than a year ago, um, we had been in Player's Choice, which is the local game store that we frequent, and um, two of the guys at work in there, Roland and Hinkle, were in there, and we were talking about, I guess, April Fool's Day videos. And Hinkle had suggested that we do a Let's Play of NFL 97 for the Sega Saturn. And I think that the reason that we had talked about that specifically is because I had bought it, I think I bought the game just to get a Sega Saturn case, because I had a, I had a copy of Knights, but Knights didn't come in the full Sega Saturn case. It comes with the manual that fits the case, but it doesn't come in a full case. It comes in a normal CD jewel case. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy this so I have, I have it. So I, ha I can put Knights in one of the normal size cases. And he said, you know, you should do a, a Let's Play um, of the game of NFL 97 as a joke. And I said, that would be funny. I could even bring you on to do it, and you would be my guest, and it would be funny because Hinkle and Roland have only ever been on um, the vlog like maybe once, twice at most. So they've never, like, they're very rarely on there. No one really knows who they are. They've never been on Steven Plays. And it would be funny to have him on as a guest on Steven Plays and act like everybody knows someone, you know, nobody has any idea who he is. So we thought that that would be funny and it's something that we, we wanted to do. It's not that it was like in stone or anything, but I was like, that sounds like a good idea, we should do that. Another idea was to even mask it by saying, like to start an LP as something else, like Majora's Mask. Like, we're gonna start a Majora's Mask LP, and then say, oh wait, the cart's not working, something's wrong. Eh, we'll just do NFL 97 for the Saturn. So that's how this all began. And that was over a year ago, probably. Um, then in, I think maybe December or even January, we had been on a game night one night, and I think it was Chaz had suggested doing a puzzle. He said that we should try doing a puzzle as a joke. And I loved the idea because it's uh, putting together a puzzle in real time is just, it's so freaking boring. It's, it's completely boring and it would be really funny to upload it and be, you know, be very serious about it. But, you know, it's a joke because what the heck, we're putting together a puzzle in real time, it's crazy. Um, so I really liked the idea. But I also felt bad because I was like, well, I thought the NFL 97 thing was funny, and I also told Hinkle that he should be in it. Um, I wanted him to be a part of it. So I was trying to figure out ways that we could um, include, include the idea. So then the idea started to change where it wouldn't just be us putting together a puzzle. Weird crap would happen throughout this video. And one of my ideas was that Hinkle would still come over and we would still record the NFL 97 Let's Play and that randomly, in the middle of this video of us putting together a puzzle, a Let's Play would just happen of NFL 97 for the Saturn. Um, so that was kind of how that idea got started. Um, as it got closer, I realized I was just not going to have time to meet up with him to record a Let's Play. It was just not, it, it wasn't going to work out. It was just too much, too much work at the last minute because I was working on a lot of other stuff. But I still wanted him um, and Roland to be in it. So I contacted them on Monday and had said, you know, hey, we are going to be shooting this puzzle video tonight. Why don't you guys come over and be in it? We can't do the NFL thing, but I, I think it would still be cool if you guys were in it. So why don't you come over after work? And they were like, yeah, we can do that. That's cool. So um, we, we actually wanted to start recording the video on Monday like much earlier. But due to unforeseen circumstances, we didn't get started on the video itself until 9 p.m which is late, and they were arriving at 10 p.m. So originally we were thinking that we would do some crazy stuff, and then like near the end, they would, 
that would be one of the crazy changes is that you know we would become them um, and but instead it happened early on because we didn't get started recording the video till 9 p.m. they came over at 10 p.m. So we weren't very far into the video before they were there, and obviously we can't put together the entire puzzle, so um, we decided that they, we would just include them early. It actually worked out better that way, though, because I feel like they are the perfect spot in the video where if someone is skimming around, they're probably not going to notice them. Um, because the video is six hours long, and they, they are in the video for two minutes. Uh, and they're right at the 30 minute mark, so I feel like if someone started watching it, they may watch like 10 or 15 minutes and then they'd start skipping around and they would probably pass the part that they're in it. And I think that's really funny. It's kind of like you can only really catch them if you're actually watching the video and I think that's really neat. So, um, so they came over and uh, we recorded the bit with them and then Mal and I went back to work. Now, whenever I had had the idea of um, doing like these crazy things, like the doing the changes where we would change stuff um, originally it was like we were going to do the the, uh, the the let's play in there and then we were going to put like weird messages and images like randomly throughout the thing but that changed to doing um, just like changing things about it like changing our clothes or changing the background in some way and then hiding those cuts um, so people didn't notice them originally the cuts were going to be hidden with mid-roll ads in fact some of you may remember I posted on Twitter you know, I guess a week ago or a few days ago at this point where I had asked how many mid-roll ads could be placed on a video and that would actually end up being part of the joke is you would go to the video and there would be like you know, a thousand mid-roll ads and you'd be like, what the heck? Um, but I talked to a few other people and they said that they they thought the idea was kind of bad because people would get to the video and just not watch any of it. So I was kind of worried about that. So we decided instead of hiding the cuts with mid-roll ads that we would hide them with uh, just close-ups. So I kept this camera handy, and every time we wanted to change something, I would just film a little something close up, and then we could change it and you know get back to to what we were doing. So we change clothes, um, we change uh, the background, we move the guitar, we put the sign up on the guitar. The sign, by the way, if, if anyone was curious, had I think it's two zero four eight six three. And those are the numbers that are in the PT demo. We did a video of that on Steven Place. You should go look it up. It is scary, just so you know. It's really freaking scary. Um, there's a sequence of numbers, and that's the sequence that they just keep repeating in that in that video. And um, at one point, there's a like a really creepy lady, and she she's in PT. So I actually took her and put her during that segment. So during the segment where the the sign is on the guitar she actually appears in the doorway briefly and I got some of you guys with that and you guys have told me that you had jumped or whatever not that that was fun I think that's at the three hour and 28 minute mark if anyone wants to go like watch that and find that for themselves three hours and 28 minutes I'm almost positive uh, is where that happens otherwise it's just random changes us changing clothes we happen to have clothes that were the same design but different colors and there's a few comments where you could where you where someone had written something like did you guys change clothes or am I losing my mind? And like that was perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to happen because the designs were the same. So like Matt was wearing a striped shirt and I was wearing a Minecraft logo shirt. And then we go to a close-up when we come back, I'm still wearing a Minecraft logo shirt, but the color is different. So people are like questioning their sanity. And I, I thought that was really fun. Anyway, um, at one point, and this also happened on the Monday vlog because I kind of paid an homage to the April Fool's Day video doing that. Um, at one point during the video, this is on the table, and this is the Sega Saturn copy of NFL 97. And it's just kind of an inside joke, I guess no longer an inside joke because you guys know about it, but um, it was an inside joke that this all started with this game. You know, this all started with this game, and we got Roland and Hinkle involved who appeared in the video. Roland is on the left, Hinkle's on the right. Or I guess Roland takes my place, Hinkle takes uh, Mouse place. And, um, I don't know, now you, now you guys know how all of this came to be. Also, eight players? <laughs> and if 97 is eight players? Good lord. Anyway, that's some of the behind-the-scenes stuff for the puzzle video. Um, we did manage to fool a few people, and I think that we did that because we played it so straight-faced, and we also put it on the schedule, which helped a lot. There's a lot of comments I saw that people said, you know, we thought, I thought this was a joke, but it's on the schedule, so it's real. Um, that helped a lot, because I actually filled out 
schedule information for like the next month for this puzzle series. And uh, that really helped play up to the joke and it had its own playlist. It was on the front page of the channel in the current series box. And I think that helped put the push the legitimacy of it um, quite a bit, even though it was at first glance, you're like, no, this is a joke. But once you start watching it and you check that information, you're like, wait, is this a joke? Are they actually going to do this? Which I thought was fun. So that was our puzzle joke. The other joke was the vertical video joke, the portrait video joke, um, here on Steven Vlog. And that vlog isn't out yet, so I don't know if I got you guys, but I'm just going to assume that I got a few of you guys. Hopefully you did. Um, I think it's actually kind of believable, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and those statistics are real. There's like 60 to 70% of people watching videos on mobile. So maybe it's not really such a bad idea after all. Anyway, um, that idea I came up with, um, I came up with that myself, and that was probably back in like September or something like that. And at that time, I, I thought of it and I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. And it's actually kind of believable too. And I ran it by Mal and she's like, oh, that's really good. And then I ran it by um, the Game Night group and they're like, oh, that's good. And then I ran it by everyone at Pathfinder and they're like, that's really funny. So I had everyone telling me it was funny. I was like, all right, I got to make sure I do it. The hardest part of it was probably just remembering to hold the camera sideways because I don't do that. I've been holding it just like this. Um for however long I've been doing since I've had the this camera, which was uh, 900, since day 900, which is a long, a thousand days. Wow, over a thousand days I've, I've had this camera. So I've been holding it this way for a thousand days. So to try and remember to do it sideways was very difficult. I also thought it was funny how <clears throat> on one of, on the, the one day where something crazy, like a dumpster fire would happen, I'm filming in portrait. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> It was killing me. I was like, ah, I could get some really cool footage of this in widescreen, but no, I'm filming in portrait. Um, but, I mean, whatever. Maybe that helped the legitimacy of the video. Like, why would Steven actually film a dumpster fire in portrait? I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, I mean, there's not really much to talk about there. It was just an idea I had, and I ran by a lot of people, and everyone seemed to really like it, so I did it. Um, and, and that's that. And that was the jokes we played. Now, uh, we don't do jokes every single year. I tend to do something on Steven Vlog, I think, every year, nearly every year. But we don't do stuff on Steven Plays. Um, and to be honest, topping um, a six-hour puzzle video might be kind of difficult. Um, and by the way, we started that video at 9 p.m. Monday. And we um, finished it... It took... 8 hours and 45 minutes. I know the video is only 6 hours, but uh, when Roland and Hinkle were here, they actually hung out a little bit after, and then it took some time to do some of the changes each time, and also at some point, like, we cooked dinner. Um, so it was actually 9 hours, and we finished at 6 a.m. And then I actually had to stay up even after that because I hadn't done the video for the next day for Steven Play. So I was up until, I don't even know, it was ridiculous. I went to sleep for a few hours, woke up Tuesday, started editing this beast of a video, which took forever to do. And then after I was done, I realized that it was, it was night on Tuesday. And I was like, how on earth am I going to have time to export this thing and upload this thing? I'm not. There's just no way. The estimated file size on it was 25 gigs and I had originally started to upload or started to export that and it I was watching like the estimated time and it was gonna be I don't know how long like 8 to 10 hours and then it's got to upload and finally after letting it go for an hour I canceled it and I said I gotta change everything so I changed all of the settings I changed I lowered the quality way down um, I lowered um, I changed the sound settings I changed I normally do multi-pass on videos so like it goes through them twice. I did single pass. I had to do everything I could to get it out fast and make the file size small because otherwise I couldn't get it out on April Fool's Day and we've been killing ourselves for like two days and it would have all been for naught. So I decided to change all that crap and the file size went from 25 gigs to seven. It took about three hours to export which I just sat and waited on at like two in the morning or whatever. Or no, it was later than that by this time. Um, and it finally finished exporting at 8.30 a.m. And as soon as it finished exporting, I started uploading. And then I went to bed. And then I actually had to wake up every few hours uh, to see if it was done processing. Because I, whenever I went to bed, it was like three and a half hours to upload. And I was like, cool. So in three and a half hours, I woke up around 12 or 1 or whatever. And it wasn't finished processing. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll sleep 90 more minutes and I'll wake up. So then I went to bed for 90 minutes, I woke back up, and it wasn't done processing. I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, because I wanted it to get out as soon as possible. 
Um, and I did that like two or three times, and it finally went up at 4.30 p.m. Tuesday, four and a half hours later than I would have liked. But um, if I would have not canceled that export the first time, and it would have been 25 gigs, that video would never have come out April Fool's, and it would have all been a waste. So, yeah, I had to make an executive decision to just change everything right there at the end, because otherwise you guys would probably be getting the video in like a day or two, and then it wouldn't have worked because it would have... The, the joke would have been gone. So that's that. And now you know all the, the fun secret stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of a long vlog, but um, there was a lot of kind of, there was a lot of stuff to talk about related to it. And it was fun. And we will probably continue to do April Fool's jokes in the future. I feel like we, I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I, I guess I am. Um, we do April Fool's jokes right. We, we know how to do them and we, we do them right. And um, there's too many people that don't get it. There's too many people that think harassment qualifies as a prank, which it doesn't. And uh, we're going to continue to do our best to entertain while also making people question whether something is real or not. And uh, I think that's doing it right, and that's what we'll continue to do. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. And welcome to the future. You might be saying, Stephen, you're shooting this vlog in portrait. Correct. I am shooting this vlog in portrait. God, we're making our getaway. Do you think we'll outrun? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no, the no. boats! Well, look at all the boats! No, the boats! Ah, 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 ah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm assuming that we have to make our way maybe left to win the game. No, they're gonna kiss!